It is common knowledge that when you are using an umbrella in windy weather, the shape of the umbrella relative to the direction of the wind will affect how much force is felt on the umbrella. The shape of a solid and the direction it is facing affects the way fluids will flow around it. A simple experiment can be set up to observe this. All that is required is a tap and a rectangular open pipe called a channel. Open the tap to make the water flow to at least half the capacity of the channel and tilt the channel slightly to allow the water to flow evenly. Remember that this is known as laminar flow. If the rate of flow from the water is high and the angle is steep, the flow cannot be consistently laminar. Gradually increase the flow rate from the tap and observe. To make the observations easier, fill a pipette with a dye and drop the dye in the water at intervals. The flow remains sufficiently laminar until a particular velocity is exceeded and then the flow becomes turbulent. The velocity at which a laminar flow breaks down into a turbulent flow is known as critical velocity. Now let's go back to observing the interactions of solid shapes with fluid flows. First, place a ruler with its flat end parallel to the flow of the water and notice how the streamlines only slightly deviate from their normal path and return to their original positions. Next, place the ruler's flat end perpendicular to the flow of water and two new effects can be observed. First, this orientation causes the flow of water around the object to become turbulent just after rounding the object. The streamlines do not immediately return to their original path, but swirl around forming eddies. Laminar flow only resumes further down in the channel. The second effect is that the force of the water is felt more strongly on the ruler. The ruler feels dragged back. And this is how we got the name drag. Drag happens because fluid friction pull solid objects in the direction opposite to that of their relative motion. This experiment can be repeated for several shapes and a few conclusions can be drawn. Slim objects with smooth edges cause the least turbulence, while box shapes or rough uneven edges cause a lot of turbulence. Completely round objects are somewhere in the middle. It also becomes clear that the amount of drag that will be felt by the object is proportional to the amount of turbulence caused by the object. Shapes that cause very little turbulence are referred to as streamlined shapes. In the front, they cut through the fluid and at the back, the shape transitions gradually so that very few eddies are created. These shapes are seen in nature in fishes and birds are replicated in technology in the design of ships and aeroplanes. Try out this experiment at home or in school with different objects and record your findings on how the flow varies with the shape and orientation of each object. It should be fun. Bye for now.